There we go. Done. Okay, that should be deep enough. Yep. Here's his scroll. And let's just go read his plaque then. Shrine of Dafrima. Oh, okay, let's read it as well. Uh. You have discovered the location of the shrine. Upon further examination, you sense a stronger pulse of the strange power that has gripped the isle. You feel a bit uncomfortable standing by the shrine and perhaps a little disturbed. The bronze placard along the sign read, reads, Here stands the shrine of Dafrima. A fitting tribute to a noble elf. Let all who gaze this monument remember his sacrifices for our people and his dedication to the cause of our continued survival. All who prosper in Quelfalas do so thanks to him. Alright. Now then, quest turn in race. And roll. And roll. Hello. Heed well this warning, Falenren the Banished is only a symptom of a much larger problem. His demise will solve our immediate concerns, but all Blood Elves share the potential same fate as him if we let our addictions get the best of us. So, Falenren's head, you are to be commended to the Blood Wall. You've succeeded where others like Felendren have utterly failed. Perhaps you are truly ready to be a contributing member of Blood of Society. Your success here means that you are capable of surviving the greater threats that lurk in Eversong. And believe me, there are plenty to face. I get 2 silver and 742 XP. Megastrix Erona wanted you to head over to Zero Moon City in order to aid our reclamation efforts there. That is, once you had successfully addressed the situation at Falcon Academy. You did not disappoint us, Bloodwall. On your way to Falcon Wind Square, south of here, you should speak with Outrunner Alrion. He's not far from the bridge. Outrunners take care of shuttling goods between here and the mainland. Since you've proven you're super resourceful, they could use your assistance. Alright, fine. So this is basically how we're going to run through this. We're going to go through the quests, reading them, doing them, and passing through one station to another. So now we got the quest to the next, next hub, so to speak. So we're going to go over there since we have turned in all these and as long as there is no other quests to do around here. The Sun Spire held a beautiful vantage of Sunwell once. Ah, this is the one we have read. Here. Ah, Bloodwall, thank you for sharing your experience at the Shrine of Daframa. First off, you should be commended for your sense of duty and respect. It will serve you well, not only here, but in all of Azeroth as well. As for the odd sensation, it's no doubt contributing part of the taint that is befallen Sunstrad Isle. We should keep an eye on it. Thank you for alerting us to it. Eh, yeah, sure, sure. One silver, fifty copper, and uh, four hundred and eighty XP. Have you had a chance to find my belongings? Once we reassert our dominance over Sunstride Isle, I will need them in my work. Yes, I have. 
Well done, I knew you'd be perfect for a task. Once it's safe to make use of outdoor facilities on Aya, I'll be putting these things to good use. Like I mentioned, please feel free to keep the satchel. Also, you may find this piece of armor to be useful. Consider it an ample conversation for a simple task performed beautifully. Okay, that actually ups... Nope, it does not up my armor. I was hoping it would. Alright. Now we need to turn in the arcane silver. Hello. From your demeanor you seem to be on matter of some Is There's some specific I can assist you with. Yeah, here. This is most interesting when I say interesting, I mean more disturbing than anything else. Our efforts to reassert control over the isle in times following the destruction of the Sunwell has been challenged. I suspect that whatever foul source is corrupting the isle is at the heart of it all. This silver may be of some aid in uncovering what is really going on. You are wise in bringing this to me, Bloodwall. Take this as compensation for diligence. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Take it! Take it all! I was almost level up. Now, this is slightly faster than not having any heirlooms at all. At least we have 5% extra XP there, 10% extra XP, 10% extra XP, and 10% extra ABC. And I make two trinkets, by the way. Uh, Alright. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to make new trinkets in a couple of levels anyway. But let's see. Collections. I only made one trinket and one neck. That's it. So at least plus three haste, plus six haste all in all. Alright, hello. Why, hello there, monk. I heard that the resourceful young blood elf formerly in the service of Magistrix Serona might be making their way down to help us out, round us out. We certainly welcome the help, especially for someone who's proven to be so competent. I hope you're interested in running an errand or two for us. Ah, uh, sure. It's hard work being an outrunner between Sunstride Isle and Falcon Wing Square. Tight deadlines, long hours, and worst of all, the wretched. The road south goes through the ruins of Silver Moon. The place is crawling with wretched, ready to kill you in a few for a few mana crystals. Unfortunately, I think that's what happened to the last outrunner we sent with one of Irona's packages. I see your eager prove yourself. Venture into the dawning lane and see if you can find any traces of our outrunner. Eh, yeah, sure. Let's do this as well. Uh, system loop music. That should make me able to do this for now. So. Slain Outrunner. This outrunner belongings have all been stolen with the exception of one package. Here's my Adrian's description of Ilerona's package. We take the package and confirm it indeed comes from Magistrix Ilerona. Adrian will probably want you to bring it to her. Well that wasn't even far in. You could have seen that by yourself.
Could have just walked up to the gate and see, oh, she's lying there. No, no. What did you find, Bloodwall? Well, I found this. By the sun world. That's the third house runner we lost this month. I appreciate your courage in venturing into the Dawning Street. The gods need to keep a close eye on those blasted wretcher. Level 6, nice. The death of another Outrun is a true tragedy, but it's risk we all accept when we take the of. Megas tricks her own off the Sunspire and needs to get this package to the inn of the Phantom Wing Square, and she needs it there as soon as possible. We're short handed and don't have anyone else available that can cover for us. I'm not going to lie to you. The path of Falcon Wing Square can be extremely dangerous if you leave the safety of Dane Wing Lair. Do you feel up to the task? Yeah, sure. Be ready, be ready. I am ready. I am ready. Running, running, running along, run, 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 running on the street. Hello, is there anyone here? No, there's not. Jump, 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 parkour, haha. Hello, this is really quiet and empty. Where is everyone? Have you all to hide? And left me all alone? Here! No, hello! There's people here! One guard! It's probably the mass murderer who killed them all. He's the only one left alive. I mean, look, I'm on the square. Oh, shit. People. Salesman. Things. Stuff. Oh, hello. You have a quest for me. Don't you? Hello. A group of wretched recently raided a supply of unstable mana crystals from one of the Arcane Sanctums. If not handled properly, the crystals could explode with enough force to blow a hole into the city walls. Now, Blood Wall, I don't quite care if they blow themselves up while tapping on stable Arcane sources, but the whole incident will make my men look bad. Bring me back any remaining stolen crystals you find. They might still be inside or read or crates. Ah, sure. Oh, hello. The city of Silver Moon hereby issues a reward for the head of Phallus, the Hungerer. Notorious wretched ringleader. He is wanted for repeated crimes against the general populace of Silver Moon City, including the murder of two city guards. Report to Sergeant Conran to collect the reward. Alright, fine. I'll murder him for you. And what do you have for me, Mr. Magister Yaronis? The arcane patrollers crafted by our forefathers to protect the city have fallen into a dangerous state of disrepair. They failed to recognize us as their master and will attack us in sight. Even though they were created many years ago, the arcane cores that power them are still quite useful and vulnerable to us. I want you to gather these cores and bring them to me so I can put them to good use again. You will find the patrollers in the ruined section of Silvermoon to the northwest. Alright, I'll accept. Now. How do I actually turn this off? Because, uh, I know you should be able to turn off helmet and cape so it isn't shown. And I actually want to do that. Uh, reset position, rotate, rotate, rotate. Escape system. Graphics? No. Interface. Display. 
social, action bars, names, new. I want also want to see units, mouse, camera, cinematic subtitles I want on. Wardrobe. Where the fuck did you go into wardrobe? Studying collections. No. That's... Equipment manager titles character screen. I remember you should be able to, but Achievements, quest log, guild finder, collections, mounts. This is appearances. That's only to place in bag. And that's what I did. Equipment manager, but that's only place in bags. That does that. I also remember something about wardrobe, but key bindings, chat action bar, multi targeting, miscellaneous, other. Vehicle controls, camera target mark. Nope, alright, fine, let's leave it for now. Still quite sure you were able to do it once in the time at least. Hello, missing keeper. Welcome to the Falcon Wing Square Inn. May I prepare a meal for you already a room? Complete the delivery. Welcome to my inn, monk. Am I to understand that you have something for me? Yes. Thank you. I do appreciate the prompt delivery. While you're here, please make yourself comfortable if you haven't done so already. Feel free to get a heartstone and bind yourself here. Using a heartstone will allow you to recall an in once every hour. If you ever lose your heartstone, simply return to an inn and Inkip will get you a new one. And that's what I said. Fuck it. <laughs> I can look into it later as well. Alright. That's that. Let's go and sell shit. The conversations seem awkward and forced somehow. Well, a bit, but that's because quest lines. That's basically it. Ah, I forgot to bind my. Or is it already bound? Sunstrider Isle. Ah, let's double. Double bind it just in case. Well, make this in your home. Yes. Oh, Falcon Wing Eye. Well, of course they seem awkward and forced. They are quests given to you in an MMORPG. And these are also the standard beginning quests. Opening. Oh, man of a crystal. Hey! But yeah, these are also the beginning quests. I mean, they've been updated since Cataclysm, but they are still the starter quests. So, of course, they are going to seem a bit forced and unnatural, and it doesn't really get that much better the further you move along. 
But that's a bit what this is about as well, just showing 